Hi, I'm Ben Kenning. This micro lecture is on velocity in free fall. Uh, as always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and to do your follow up questions on Google Forms. All right, so looking at our tennis ball here, we talked earlier about the idea of free fall, this idea that gravity pulls everything down on Earth um, at a rate of 9.8 meters per second squared. Or in other words, it causes everything's velocity to change by 9.8 meters per second each second. You can often round this to 10 just for kind of shorthand and to make calculations easy. Um, and this makes one big assumption. Something is in free fall, meaning nothing else is in the way. There's no table in the way. There's no air in the way. There's no air resistance or anything like that. So that means that something falling, if we let go, it starts with an initial velocity of zero, is going to pick up 10 meters per second each second it falls, which means it's going to fall faster and faster and faster and faster. Or looking at a snapshot diagram, there will be more and more distance between each snapshot or more and more distance covered each second. Now, Earth's gravity, like I said, accelerates everything at that rate, whether it's a feather or a brick or an elephant or anything else, um, assuming that thing is in free fall. So assuming that there is no air resistance or the air resistance is so small it can be ignored and assuming it's near the Earth's surface. So if we take an apple, for example, way up to like the height of a satellite, gravity is a little bit weaker up there. So it's not going to be 9.8 meters per second squared. But everything on the surface of the Earth, uh, the value of gravity is effectively 9.8 meters per second squared. Even on top of Everest, it's only decreased by like 0 0.001 or so. Um, so it still rounds to approximately 9.8 meters per second squared. Um, give or take, you know, maybe 0.1% or 1% at the most. Now, because this is such a common value for uh, acceleration, meaning we often talk about things falling, we actually gave it its own variable or letter. So we use lowercase g to represent the uh, acceleration due to free fall. Uh, and that acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. So g, lowercase g, just a variable. So we'll often plug it in instead of uh, a or instead of acceleration. Um, and its units, therefore, are still in meters per second squared or meters per second per second. Uh, and we'll use 9.8 most often in this class. Uh, however, 10 is fine for shorthand. You'll just have to watch out for significant figures because this doesn't have very many. Uh, and in IB, um, they often use 9.81. So if you want to practice using that, feel free. Now, like I said, since this is a value of acceleration, anytime we see acceleration in an equation, like, for example, final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times time, we can just plug in the value for gravity into this. And this would now describe how fast is something going versus time uh, if it's in free fall. Um, so plugging g in, that would give us kind of that equation or that description of the situation. Um, another thing to note is that we can also rewrite this equation. You might already be able to tell what pattern it is, but if we reorient it, so just flipping the U around and putting the G and T up front, we can see that this matches the form of Y equals MX plus B, where our slope is going to be G, um, time is our X value, and B is our initial velocity. So what that means is uh, basically any time you do a graph of velocity versus time for something in free fall, the slope comes out to, big surprise, 9.8 meters per second squared. Now it might be negative if it's uh, you're calling downwards negative, or it might be positive if you call downwards positive. Um, but regardless, both of these graphs describe something that is falling. We're just assuming up is positive. Um, in this graph, and we're assuming up is negative in this graph, or in other words, down is positive. Uh, now you can also graph it um, with an initial velocity, so that would be the plus b value, where if something started with an initial upward velocity, it would take a few moments before it comes to a stop, and then it would continue to speed up in the opposite direction. Alternatively, we could flip it around and give something an initial velocity of negative 4. If we assume that positive uh, is downwards, um, this is, again, still an upward speed. Um, and then it's just going to decrease in speed until it finally switches around and then goes the other direction. So one thing you're going to need to pay attention to for a lot of this unit is what direction is positive. Is it up? Is it down? Is it left? Is it right? 
that's it for this one. Three or more bullet points worth of notes and a one to two sentence summary on your uh, note page. And then remember to do your follow-up questions on Google Forms, please.